Hey what's going on guys my name is George and this is SAS Reviews and Interviews. Today I want to invite you all you guys to join our group in Facebook which is SAS Reviews and Interviews. The link is going to be in the description. So today we're going to do a quick review on Astra Security. So this is their interface right now where you're going to log in and you can see just like quick features that you can use. They actually have some pretty big deal companies here that they've worked with. So this is the, the dashboard, my main dashboard that I've used and I've tested um, by myself. And so you can see right now that we, ha we have all these uh, websites that I have installed, but we're gonna check out this one right here. So I'm gonna do dashboard. Now this is a classified ads website, which is, is this one right here. Now as a classified website, I have many people logging in, posting their, their, their classified ads and all that. So there's a lot of movement in this website. So I gotta have it really secured. So you can see right here, this overview of seven days, I've had 124 attacks that have been blocked by the Astro. Why? Because I haven't installed. And you can see what type of attacks have been blocked. XSS, CSRF, ID stop, and others. So you can see what are the main countries that have been trying to hack me, which is United States, China, Brazil, Germany, just from all over the world. What would happen if I don't have this installed? Well, first of all, my server, my hosting server is gonna have a whole bunch of stress because there's gonna be fake people or bots that are searching through my website and they're gonna take up my resources. That means they're gonna use my RAM, my resources for my hosting it's gonna it's gonna make my site slower so that's one of the reasons i have get astra and another one is to keep it secure i don't want them to hack my site and steal people's passwords i don't want them to um take down my site most importantly of all and this is one of the reasons i have it so you can see what type of threats they have been blocked we can see their ip address what date it was um attack parameter types of attack and the status of it and it was stopped so for example, I just want to say this guy from this IP address, you know what? I'm pretty sure that was me. I was checking something out and Astra thought it was a security thing. So I can put trust that IP. So that's a pretty cool feature. I can whitelist it or I can block it, which is already automatically blocked. Also something really cool is that we can block IPs by country, IP range, just anything. Just for example, here, you know what? On this side, I don't want any traffic from China. So I just add China. Just add it right there. And any traffic that comes from China is just gonna be blocked automatically. Why would I want that? Let's just say for example, hey, you know what? My site is specifically for one country and I don't need traffic from another side taking up my hosting resources. Just an example, right? So I'm gonna remove it because that's not something I want. Trash it. Okay. Oh, so now it's in the trusted list. I'll get back to that right now. All right, exception list is down here where you can set fields, HTML fields, JSON fields, or orals. Trust this will add this IP to block list. No, I don't want it. Okay, there we go, delete it. Okay, next thing we have on an Astra is the malware scan, which is something really cool. Not all security um, softwares out there, apps include the malware scan. Most of them sell it you, to you separately or as a pro account or something like that. And now it's included in Astra. So you can see I've already done a scan on this side and I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna show you what the problems it found because that would be like telling you where the problem is and you can go find it. So that's gonna be blurred out. All right, but you can see it scales the, the 8,000 file scan, nine issues found, and this was done in 33 minutes time scan. So I can start a, a new scan, I can modify scan settings, I can request a manual malware cleanup. So that's something really cool where they're gonna help you out and they're gonna clean that up for you. Uh, login acti activity. If your site is like mine, like a login type of website where people log in and make their own users and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna show you how they've logged in and if it was accessible status or blocked. So for example, why would someone, why would they block this? Because they probably entered a fake username. They did this one, check this one out right here from Wednesday on China. They tried to log in as admin, I'm on, let's be clear. If, if you don't own the page, you're not gonna use admin as your username. That's someone who tried to hack me. So this guy clearly got blocked. You can see he was in China, he was using a Windows operating system and he was using Opera browser. And he logged into this site, which is not my sign in site. So he got automatically blocked. And last but not least, well, a bunch of stuff, but yeah. Here is the 
protection these are like the main settings do I want it on do I want it off is my astro mode on blocking or just monitoring if I don't want it to block automatically I just want it to monitor it you can change that there and you could do manual blocking if that's something you're looking for security level you can go medium high or low embedded seal which is this one right here check this out in the right corner down here this little small icon right here if I click on it it's gonna tell you that my website is already what do you call it blocked by get Astro so it's, it's secured by Astro and let's see your server credentials HTTP request methods file uploads we can change our size option if we don't have it in our WordPress thing and coming soon is enable slack notifications which is cool email preferences do you want it to tell you how many people got blocked in one day do you want to be um, an email in a week or a month it just shows you there how do you want to do it and it also helps you get an add GDRP consent it gives you an HTML if you want to do that with get Astra next thing we have is a community security which is something that I haven't found it in other places just wait for it to open Okay guys, so once we get open community security, that means we can ask the community in Astra to do like a search to check my site if it can be hackable and how it, it, it is done. So we can do a program right here. I'm going to do edit program. So I can tell people, hey, you know what? Uh, I want you to check out my site. I want you to check out my main site. And this is the program I want. What's the program pol policy? You can use theirs. You can edit it. What's the scope? check out the whole site what's a reward if you find something you can just go to tell them hey you can do Hall of Fame cash price merchandise or other if it's a cash price we put how much money merchandise what are you gonna give are you gonna give like a t-shirt hat or just anything like that so you tell them what you're gonna give them so what they're gonna do is check out hey I want the money or I just want to go to Hall of Fame so I'm gonna try to hack the site and they'll tell you how they can hack it and what 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 are you gonna win with this is that you're gonna fix that problem so no one hacks you so that's pretty cool then we have security audit it's like an audit for that site specifically from the people who found something and support which is straightforward well all right guys this is the dashboard from Astra you can see how many people got blocked you see that it works thanks for watching this is SAS reviews and interviews. Remember, don't forget to join our group. Thanks for watching.